All right, what's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And today we have some pretty awesome stuff coming on the Japanese side of One Piece Treasure Cruise. So there's a new newsletter here on Twitter, obviously, and this is what uh, the discussion is revolving around today. This is a little bit different compared to the type of newsletters that we have seen typically on JP, where they usually reveal new characters and they reveal new events coming up, new updates. But this time around, it's just kind of a newsletter from the producer, Yoshi-san. So um, the, all the this specific hashtag right here, it says a letter from Yoshi P. There you go. So my man Yoshi coming in with the newsletter. Um, so this is the first post that he was mentioning and he was just saying you know uh you know hello my name is yoshi and he's saying you know thank you so much for the 6.5 year anniversary because that was the whole big mom and kaido celebration was surrounding um the 6.5 year anniversary well not per se it, it was it was surrounding it sort of because there were like other events that were uh, alongside the kaido and big mom of course but the kaido big mom was like the big thing about it introducing the new update with the versus mechanic and that's going to be a large majority of um of this tweet which we'll talk about a bit further but uh just a generic message here from yoshi-san which is always nice to see so the tweet um, beside that is also kind of interesting. So this one reveals um, new artworks or new uh, outfits for Vivi, Rebecca, Shirahoshi, and Man Sherry, which is of course the video that I made yesterday talking about the V Jump. Um, v Jump did reveal that there were new characters coming to the game. Uh, and again, we don't know if they are dual units, we don't know if they are super types, we don't even know if they're Sugo Fest exclusives to begin with. They are going to be summonable characters. One of those characters is a Vivi Rebecca. The other one is a Shirahoshi Man Sherry, and they are going to be on a Christmas banner um, starting on the 26th of November, as you can see here. And I believe this goes until like the 6th or the 7th of December, um, I believe is what it said in V-Jump. So if you guys didn't see my video yesterday, that's most of the information that you need. You can see the artworks in the video yesterday if you guys haven't seen it though, the official Treasure Cruise artworks for them. They look really good, by the way. Uh, but this is like further showing you guys what the, you know, what they're based off and what their artwork actually looks like it looks really really cool uh, but not really much information was shown here it was just saying you know um you know the month of december is obviously a really big uh, time for christmas celebrations and holiday celebrations and for some reason they're doing the christmas celebration really early um in december slash late november a little bit weird that they're doing it so early but that was essentially what they were going with here now the next tweet is also kind of interesting this tweet mentions that uh, the versus mechanic was a pretty big mechanic, obviously, with the introduction of the new update and for the 6.5 year anniversary. And with this, they are saying that there is a brand new poll. You can see the poll down here for selecting the next or just a future versus character to arrive on one piece treasure cruise and it does mention it will be arriving in 2021 so you know no matter what is selected don't expect it to be coming before the end of the year no it will be coming next year as for when we don't know we'll, we'll have, hopefully we get information on that soon but the selections for the versus unit are not what I expected, but then again, I feel like the ones that a lot of people are expecting, like Luffy and Katakuri, Kuzan and Sakazuki, like those really big combative events, those ones I think they already know that they're, they're going to be selected at some point to be Sugo first exclusives. But the ones that they've got here are not ones that I even really thought about, some of which I just completely put at the back of my mind, but makes a ton of sense. So this is the tweet here uh, giving us a little bit more information. So we'll go through each of these uh, in greater detail, of course. So this is the poll right here. Now, the first one, if you guys can read Japanese, obviously you can see it, but I have images here for each of these uh, clashes. So the first one is this. Shanks versus Whitebeard. This is the first selection of the poll. Um, I completely like disregarded this at all because it wasn't really much of like a fight. It was it was just a very minor clash. But then again, when you really think about it, like Big Mom and Kaido, uh, it is kind of getting into manga territories here. But you know they didn't really have much of a fight either. So I guess you know even if it was just a really small squabble, it could still classify as a versus unit. This would be pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the only thing is right is. We already have so many Shanks legends in the game, and we, I mean, then again, like, these characters that are going to be selected in this poll, we don't know if they're going to be Sugo Fest exclusives or not, but we could pretty much say it's Yoshi, it's, he's probably going to make them Sugo Fest exclusives, let's be real. 
we don't really need another Shanks legend, at least for a pretty long time. Um, because, you know, we've got Halloween Shanks, Shanks crew. Those two in particular are still really good. V2 Shanks still sees quite a lot of play. Um, not really too much in generic play, but very good in PvP recently on JP. So, honestly, I don't think we need another one. I mean, Whitebeard... Whitebeard honestly could deserve another legend at some point. I think that that's definitely uh, well-deserving. You know, it's freaking Whitebeard, goddammit. I think that he definitely deserves one. But remember that each of these versus units have, like, very unique mechanics that go alongside them. So, uh, it would be super interesting to see what they would even do with this unit. Uh, I mean, I, I hope that all of these characters become legends at some point, because I think any one of these are just fantastic selections, but I feel like some are more deserving than others just because a lot of these characters, or some of these characters you'll see here in this video, haven't had a legend in a long time, or, you know, they just they just need a better one. So, that's the first selection there, Whitebeard versus Shanks. The next one is Sabo versus Fujitora. This one also is one I completely forgot about. Sabo and Fujitora, dude. This would be a really cool one to see. Like, again, I mean, like, Fujitora, like, he doesn't really have a top-tier legend in the game right now. He's only got, what, V1 and V2. Um, and I do think that it is deserving. he is deserving of another, like, really top-tier character. And I think if you did one with Sabo, that would kind of make sense, honestly. I mean, you could technically do one with Fuji, uh, with, um, with, with Akainu when they had their squabble over the phone, over the transponder snail. But, like, at the same time... Uh, I think that, you know, having one with Sabo and Dressrosa is a really, really nice touch. Uh, and again, remember, each of these characters are going to have a really unique versus, versus special, you know, inbuilt with the character. And it would be interesting to see, you know, they have one side with Sabo and his Devil Fruit, and then you have uh, Fujitora and, and his Devil Fruit. Um, it would be interesting because the way that they do Fujitora in, in One Piece Treasure Cruise, they always make him like, it's kind of like a special that does damage. So I could see him potentially being similar to Kaido or similar to um, the, the Big Mom versus Kaido with his versus special. It could be somewhat similar to that. But then for Sabo, I have absolutely no idea what the hell they would do with him. But I would be interested to see how they would go about developing a Fujitora and Sabo versus unit. That's a really, really nice choice. I don't think this is my number one choice though. My number one choice is one of the next two. So the third selection on the poll is Kuzan versus Doflamingo. I think this would be such a cool selection, dude. Like, again, this is another one that a lot of people threw out. They're like, oh yeah, what if you do Doflamingo versus Kuzan? It's like, I, I, personally, I was thinking like, you know, they didn't really have much of a fight. Like, Kuzan just froze Dofi, he broke out of it, and he walked away. That was pretty much it. But at the same time, dude, imagine if I'm getting another top-tier Kuzan legend. That would be so sick! But then again, as I did mention, I do believe that they're going to do a future Sakazuki versus Kuzan character. So at the same time, it's like, it would be weird if they are planning to do something like that in the future, when they release this character also in 2021. So maybe might not be the best choice, but in terms of the most deserving... I do think the next character is the one that should win. Do I think it's the one that will win? No, I think a lot of people are just going to go for Whitebeard and Shanks because that's the most hype of the two, I, I suppose. But personally, I would love to see this be the winner. Kizaru versus Rayleigh. Now, how many people for so long have said we need a V2 Kizaru? I think Kizaru definitely needs another top tier character in the game. Yes, he's version 1, well... His only legend in the game is good in Pirate Rumble, but outside of that, no, he's pretty bad. We do definitely need a really good Kizaru in the game. The best Kizaru in the game is his Colosseum. And then probably the next one after that is like his raid boss, I would say. Like, there's not many good Kizarus in the game, and I definitely think this is a great opportunity to give him a brand new character that would be considered like a top echelon character that would be good for clearing content. And then alongside that, you get Rayleigh as well. So uh, that would be just so freaking cool to do that with Rayleigh. Uh, obviously, you could do another one in the future with like Marco in Kizaru, for example. But honestly, this would still be really, really cool. I, I think Marco and Kizaru would have been a bit better than Rayleigh and Kizaru. But even still, um, I mean, like Rayleigh, you know, his V1 is still used in a lot of content as a support or even as a sub. His V2, very good in Pirate Rumble. And his V3, well, we all know how his V3 went. So I think introducing a brand new Sugo Fest exclusive alongside Kizaru in a versus unit would be a really good choice. So there we go. You got first choice, Whitebeard and Shanks. Second choice, Fujitora and Sabo. Third choice is Kuzan and Doflamingo. And the final choice is Kizaru and Rayleigh. So there is the poll right there. I am personally going to be selecting this. And yeah, okay, well, <laughs> I'm not surprised. 
I really am not surprised. Well, look, if you're looking outside of this, at least people are choosing the bottom one because Kizaru does need the new character, but it is kind of disheartening that so many people are just going automatically for Shanks and Whitebeard, but I, 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 I kind of understand it. I, I do kind of understand it, so... Uh, that, that, that is, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So, you know, I'll leave the link to this poll down below, uh, in the description of the video. So if you guys want to go over and leave your personal vote as well, definitely go ahead and do that. Um, you've got three days to do it. This, this poll will close in three days, but I mean, already looking at the first two and a half thousand votes, that's, that's quite convincing that I think Whitebeard and Shanks is going to be a future versus character which is uh, it's an interesting choice it's not one i would have picked for sure but either way uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video